All right, fellas. So a chick is going to pull back from you for two main reasons. It's like a yin and a yang. They're complete total opposites. You feel me? The causes are, are complete opposites of each other. But that's just how the world works, right? It's a weird ass world. The first reason is because you're doing too goddamn much, dog. Chill out. Second reason is you're not doing enough in her eyes. She's feeling like you're not putting enough effort. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get into it about what I mean by that. First of all, this is Tarek Talks. I'm Tarek, and I'm going to be talking my stuff in my car. Feel me? Like, comment, subscribe for more men's health, dating, and fitness, mental health discussions, all right? So the first reason is you are doing too much. You're sprung. Feel me? You're like T-Pain. You, 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 you done got sprung up on the cat, right? Either, either you're doing too much before you even get the cat or you're doing too much after you got the cat. So you're just contacting her way too much. You just on the phone a little too much. And the thing about it is, fellas, a chick is not going to tell you that you're texting and calling too much. She'll let it ride out, right? She'll let it ride out. You're, you're never going to hear a chick say, you're texting me too much or you calling me too much because they like it but they really don't deep down inside you feel me so they're not gonna come out and, say, and be like hey look you texting me too much don't ruin the vibe don't kill the vibe you're facetiming me for like two hours straight you're killing the vibe they're not gonna come out and tell you that because for two reasons one they feel like they shouldn't have to tell you and two like i said earlier some of them like that right some because because young ladies like to chit chat, okay? See, I, I I grew up watching my mama and my aunties, and they love to chit chat, right? I, I, love, I love my mama and, and my family to death, but my mama, she loves to chit chat on the phone like, like no one's business. Like, she never runs out of stuff to say, okay? So, uh, a young lady's not going to tell you to stop, right? She's going she's gonna to let, let it carry on. She's going to have full-blown combos and talk about the stars and the moon and her life and what she ate and how her boss hurt her feelings she's just gonna let it she's gonna let the conversation just drag on and you thinking you you know covering ground or you getting somewhere with that but the truth of the matter is you're not getting nowhere with that right all you're doing is is turning you know what i'm saying you you're acting like a woman would do you're chit chatting and fellas let me tell you something here's here's a golden tip my mama actually told me this uh strangely enough <laughs> now that i'm talking about her she said the more you talk the more empty your words are right the, the more meaning the more you talk let's say you just talking to a chick every single day facetiming her you you texting her you sliding in her snapchats or her twat tw i mean tweet whatever i'm tripping <laughs> that's something that you want to do you feel me you want to slide in there you want to slide in the twat but you slide in the tweets and and the snaps and the inbox and the dms you know what i mean the more you talk the more you on the phone chit chatting just chatting it up bumping gums the more you're gonna talk about absolutely nothing you're gonna talk about dumb shit and it's gonna make you seem less intelligent right that you know how they always there's a saying that says watch out for the quiet guy you know why because that that him not talking too much it kind of make people wonder what he's about and it's sort of like uh if you had a quiet guy in your class you somewhat almost kind of think he a little more smarter than probably what he really is subconsciously because he doesn't talk about he don't got loose lips. He's not bumping his gums. You feel me? He ain't jaw jacking, like talking all the time. The more you talk, you're gonna you're gonna be talking about how you walked your poodle and how beautiful she is, and just talking about absolutely nothing. So now you're just like a chick. Then you start gossiping. That's the worst thing, fellas. When you start gossiping, when you start sounding like TMZ or or you know one of these gossip shows. That that's when you really just full fledged, like you about to you about to grow a a, a kitty down there, right? That that's for real, not real talk. Like you about to grow a cat, where your where your stick is. Pause.
and I'm just keeping it funky, right? So you doing too much. You just you just over. And let's say you did get the kitty, right? Let's say you did get the kitty. This this darn son. Let's say you did get the kitty, and now you just blowing her phone up. You super sprung. When can I see you, please, baby? I need to see you. We need to meet up. When is the next time you meet up? I've been there before, fellas. I done got a taste of some some good cat, and I done, I went nuts. You feel me? In my younger days, I just went completely psycho and bonkers and just blew this chick's phone all the way up okay we all been there it's cool it's all right we we're not none of us are perfect but that's probably why she's pulling back okay and there's a billion reasons why a chick will pull back there's a billion reasons but these are just the two main ones right second reason is because you're not doing enough for her taste you're not doing enough for her liking. Let's say you guys have been intimate. This only applies if you've been intimate, if you done did it with her, you feel me? And it can apply if you didn't, but not as much. Like, but let's keep it to if you've been intimate. So let's say you've been intimate with the young lady and you're really not hitting her up like that. You know, after y'all do y'all thing, you know, you, you do your own thing and she might have even added you on IG or Snapchat and you take a snaps of yourself hitting the gym. I mean, I'm talking from personal experience. Or as you guys might be taking Snapchats of yourself, going to a restaurant or hanging out with your homies or some shit like that. And she looking at all of this. And she's like, okay, why this dude ain't hitting, blowing my phone up since I, I gave him some coochie, right? Why he ain't blowing my phone up like everybody else? I gave him some coochie, right? Now he should be obsessed. This is really, I'm, 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 putting y'all in the minds of, of some some females bro this is how they they think they think because they give you coochie all of a sudden you're you're like rolling out a red carpet and calling her your highness like you need to be just worshiping the ground that they walk on real talk and when they see that you have a life outside of her they kind of they get mad you feel me they get jealous that's that jealousy stuff you feel me then they're like damn I see him going to the gym. I see him hanging out with his partners. I see him hanging out with his homeboys and he can't hit me up. Hmm, I'll show him. I'm not going to text him for a week or some shit like that. Right? So when, when you don't show her enough attention that she assumes or she thinks that she deserves, she's going to get mad and she's going to do this little childish pullback. You know, we all know how that goes unfortunately and like i said fellas in another video uh chicks with low self-esteem will do that type of stuff right chicks with low self-esteem will do these little pullbacks and make you want make you want to worship the ground she walks on and make her be obsessed with her i seen a i seen a tiktok i i didn't see it on the actual tiktok site because I, I didn't download that dumb shit i saw it on youtube though it was like a chick saying, if he's not obsessed with you, dump him. That's that insecure, you feel me, uh, low self-esteem. Because a healthy person, man or woman, does not need that much attention. Like, get a life. You dig what I'm saying? If you need that much attention, you need, you need a life. It's no reason why you should be obsessing over someone obsessing over you. Like, that's like that's ridiculous you feel me and unfortunately you guys are gonna run into this as well all right so anyway with that being said there's more that there's more than those two reasons but that's the main ones you know with that being said leave a comment like comment subscribe Peace.